I am Anil Kumar. We are solving quadratic equations. Solve each equation. To begin with, we have three equations to solve. First one is x square minus 4 equals to 0, then x square equals to 0, and x square plus 1 equals to 0. You can actually pause the video, answer the question. Let us begin from the very first one, part A, x square minus 1 equals to 0. We can do it in actually two different ways. I'll show you both the ways to solve such an equation. One of the ways we can bring 4 to the right side. So we have x squared equals to 4 and then we square root. So we get x equals to square root of 4. Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus and that gives you two answers, plus and minus 2. Right? So that is one way to do it. The other method is to factor, right? So the other method is to factor and do. So method two is to factor. Now factoring is a very popular method. If you can factor, you should prefer this, right? X square minus uh, four could be written as X square minus two square. You see that? It is difference of squares. So you could always write this as X plus two times X minus two. So that is to be equal to zero that means each factor we can equate to zero so if x plus 2 equals to zero then x equals to minus 2 and if x minus 2 equals to zero then x equals to plus 2 so we get the same answers you get the idea right so our answers or solutions are x equals to plus minus 2 right that is how we could do that next question is x square equals to zero here x could be zero side so so if I equate this to 0, x square equals to 0 means x equals to 0. Right? So here we have only one solution and that is x equals to 0. Now the last one here is x square equals to, I mean x square plus 1 equals to 0. If we try to solve this, we'll get x square equals to minus 1. Right? So in real numbers, In real numbers, x square is always positive, right? x square is non-negative, right? I should say non-negative. So in real numbers, we have no solutions. We can say no solution in real numbers. Soon we will learn complex numbers, and in complex numbers, it does have two solutions, right? So for those of you who are working with complex numbers, so in the domain of complex numbers, we know i squared is minus 1, right? So in the domain of complex numbers, we have solutions. So in that case, i squared is minus 1. So that gives us two solutions, and that is x equals to i, right? So because i squared will be always positive, negative 1, right? So we'll get one solution, and the other one is x equals to minus i minus i square will also be minus one right so that is so we have x equals to plus minus i so we have two complex roots here right so we have two complex roots but this is only for the students who are working in the domain of complex numbers right so we have x equals to plus minus i as our solution i hope that helps thank you and all the best